Hey guys, let's see how to construct water level control system. We need some ESP8266 development board. I'll be using Node MCU. We need a sensor for water level measurement. I'll be using HCSR04 ultrasonic sensor. You will have to mount this sensor on top of bucket. If you like to use some other sensor, then you will have to modify Arduino sketch accordingly. And you also need a relay module to control water pump. Now let's see how to make connections. Connect VCC of ultrasonic sensor to 5V and ground to ground pin of ESP8266. Connect trigger pin to D1 of node MCU. Connect eco pin to D2 through a voltage divider. Connect control signal of relay module to D4 of node MCU. In another tutorial, I have explained how to hook up this relay module. If you have never used this before, I suggest you to have a look on that tutorial as well. Now take a bucket, measure its height and diameter, use some calculator to measure its capacity in liters and mount ultrasonic sensor on top of the bucket. Now log into your Adafruit IO account. Go to feeds and create a new feed. Name this feed as water level. Now go to dashboards and if you have already set up some dashboard, just add water level feed in that. Otherwise start with creating new dashboard. You can click on view Adafruit IO key and here you can find your username and key. You will have to enter these parameters in your Arduino sketch. Now let's have a look on HTML file. I've not written this code myself, just downloaded it and modified it a little bit for use with my water level control system. I've copied slider code from codepen.io. You can play with this slider yourself. Another part that I used in my HTML is cylindrical gauge. I've downloaded that gauge from fusioncharts.com. Here you can see three different cylindrical gauges and you can select any one you like to use. Now let's see what changes you need to do in this HTML file. In this fusioncharts.ready function, you have to change upper limit as per your bucket capacity. If for example your bucket can take 30 liters of water, just replace 15 with 30. Save this file and refresh browser. You can see Maximum capacity has been updated. Next step is to adjust range of slider. At the moment it can go up to 16 liters. Here in jQuery slider function you can adjust maximum range of slider. You can also select default values for the handles. Save this HTML and let's refresh browser to see if changes are applied. Alright, you can see slider range has been updated. Now let's modify Arduino sketch. HTML is already included here in Arduino sketch. 
and you can modify HTML directly from this Arduino IDE you have to uncomment these two lines and write your Wi-Fi SSID and password uncomment these two lines and write your Adafruit IO username and key uncomment these lines and write your buckets radius and maximum height ESPA266 will use these parameters to calculate water level I've connected relay to D4 and if you have to connect relay to some other GPIO just modify this pin assignment ultrasonic sensor is connected to D1 and D2 if you have to use some other pins just modify here finally you have to select lower water level after which motor should turn on and upper water level after which motor should turn off these settings should be same as you have selected for slider handles compile this code load it to your ESP8266 board and see if it works thanks for watching stay tuned bye bye